But luckily we had travel insurance. And they had to look at their family and they had to tell them that they can't go on a cruise. I'm Zaire from Petway Travel. And I'm just seated with Petway Travel. So Carnival has its travel protection. Mm -hmm. And there's a few other options out there as well. Should you give Carnival an extra $100? Mm -hmm. Listen to these stories and you decide. Now, legally, we can't give you advice because we're not insurance agents. But remember this? So remember when they had that global outage where nobody's airline computer worked and all the planes had to stay on the ground? Now, somebody's plane pushed somebody else's plane and somebody else's plane. We woke up one morning and nobody's plane was flying. And what did that do to all the other industries? Namely, cruise line. Mm -hmm. So we woke up and somebody missed their cruise. Somebody saved up their money all year, mm -hmm. told their family that they were gonna go on this cruise, got all excited, got all packed, got everything, got to the airport, and their plane was delayed. Yeah. And they were delayed two, three, 15, 26 hours. Yeah. What did that do for their cruise? Yeah. How many cruises were missed? Yeah. And because of that, they had to look at their family and they had to tell them that they can't go on their cruise. And in the back of their mind, they were thinking, and we don't get our money back because they didn't get travel insurance. Mm. So the question you got to ask yourself is, can you afford for something to happen that's out of your control and you lose all of that money? That's question one. Now, this next scenario actually did happen to us. Yeah. On our last cruise, mm -hmm. um, I was checking our luggage once we got to our room, mm -hmm. and I realized that part of my zipper had been broken. Yeah. <laughs> and so um, that means that we couldn't lock our suitcase. Nope. Um, and we had to finagle to get the zipper all the way around so we can get it open and get it closed. Mm -hmm. Now... I didn't break my suitcase. Mm -mm. And so I didn't think that I should have to pay for it. Right. But luckily we had travel insurance that I could submit a claim. I got the money so we could replace our luggage. Yeah. So the question is, if something of yours gets damaged outside of your control, mm -hmm. can you afford to replace it? Let's say it's a computer. Let's say it's a camera. Let's say it's something more important that you happen to take on a cruise, can you afford to replace it yeah. because somebody else's negligence? Mm -hmm. This last story mm -hmm. breaks my heart. Mm -hmm. I don't care what day you're watching this. If you go, if you Google GoFundMe cruise emergency, mm -hmm. there'll be a litany of things that come up. Yeah. I happened to Google one today and I was actually trying to donate, but luckily, luckily, they had already reached their goal. Um, but I'll tell you what the story I read. It was a, a mother and son, and they went on a cruise, and they were having a great time, and they were heading back. And I want to say they were going back to New York or Virginia, somewhere up there. And the, the mother had a medical emergency in the middle of the night. Mm -hmm. And I'm sure the son was, I don't I can't imagine what he was feeling at that moment. Mm -hmm. To look over and see the woman that he loves from day one, and that's really his day one, <laughs> was going through something. And he got her down to the medical bay and he, he got her the care that she needed, but they had to get her off of the ship and make an emergency detour so she can get to some emergency care on land. Mm -hmm. um, and what, he was, what happened was he had to go back home, but he, his mom needed to stay a little bit, and he was working to get her back to home. Mm -hmm. um, and it was, it, the bill was pretty high. It was in the five-figure area. Mm -hmm. And he had to start a GoFundMe. Um, 
And luckily, luckily, I'm so glad that he was able to raise enough that he was able to get his mother brought back to him. Mm -hmm. But the question is, if something happens, Mm -hmm. there's so many things that happen um, that are out of our control, that are inside of our bodies. Mm -hmm. Um, Nobody has on their schedule, well, I have an aneurysm this day, or I'll I'll decide to, to fall down the stairs on this day. That's why they're called accidents. And so if an accident happens, can you afford a five-figure price tag Mm -hmm. just out of the blue? So those are the questions I'll ask you. Mm -hmm. Could you afford if the airlines mess something up or if the baggage handlers mess something up or if there's a medical emergency? Would your life continue without a blimp in it Mm-hmm. If one of those major things happen, if you say yes, hey, maybe you don't need travel insurance. But if that would affect your life, I would say look at some of the options. Yeah. And I'll post some of the companies below that have some of the other options. All right? Mm-hmm. I'm Zyra from Petway Travel. And I'm just sitting with Petway Travel. Thanks for hanging out with us. We'll see you in the next cruise. Peace. <laughs>